Hello to you guys, welcome back into Retro. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Morning, afternoon, evening, depending on when I am. Or I guess when you are watching this, not when I'm recording this. <laughs> it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon for me. And let's go ahead and check our mail, shall we? Oh, hello, we got two different pieces of mail. I haven't sent out any more fruit letters, so I'm not expecting any receipts. Any more of that. Uh, Happy Room Academy! Room earned 11,339 points. Bang, your house is a little bigger, but still small. Well, Lyle wants to see it grow. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, and from Chip, uh, the good sport award for the fishing tourney on February 11th goes to Crystal. Can't wait to see you compete again. Oh my god. Salt in my wounds, you guys. Salt in my wounds. That's okay. That's okay. It's kind of funny. Hi, <laughs> Clyde. Hey, hey, hey. It's the perfect weather for chilling outside. I wonder if we'll have any special visitors today. Crystal, if any of your friends are free, please tell them to come visit. I got no one who still plays this. This is a me thing. <laughs> Clyde, where are you going? Buddy. You can't... All right, well, fine. Break in if you want to. There's just a mess in there and there's some gyroids and it's a whole situation. Anyways, Aurora, can I ask, have you always had that fire going in your house on your wood floors? Did I mention that? Oh, did I forget something for you, sweetheart? I'm not so sure it would actually do anything to improve my room, so just forget it. I don't know what came over me in the first place. I'm sorry. I'm horrible about remembering these things. Oh, okay. You know what? We got to do something for her. And good news is that I already kind of had this plan for today. Um, I want to start giving the villagers gardens. Um, I've always enjoyed doing that. I know exactly what we're going to do for Aurora. It's going to be, uh, let me find one because I always forget this type of flower that I'm on right now. Um, I know there's one up here. Yeah. And for now, that's going to be all she gets. But when we start breeding hybrids, I'm going to add in some, maybe some black roses, I'm feeling. So yeah, let's go around. Let's see if I can't find more of these. I know that I should have lots. Kurt, have I spoken to you recently? Oh, afternoon. Where do you get all the energy from? You look raring to go energy drinks, my friend. So Crystal, you got a minute to weigh in. Oh, buddy. But don't do this again. It's fine. I promise it's fine. You need so much reassurance and that's a mood. I just feel a little bit called out by it. <laughs> you look good. I'm pretty sure he says the same thing every time, so I hope you guys don't mind me skipping over that dialogue a little bit. Um, but yeah, I figured I wanted to start doing some nice things for our villagers here. Hey, Crystal got a sec? I need to track down something awesome for my place. I'm thinking it's gotta be brown. I would take it to the next level. Um... I can try. <laughs> I can try. So this is why I didn't do the thing for Aurora. At least he's asking for a specific color, but I think she wanted something like trendy. And it's like, I, I don't know what that means in this game. I have no idea. So, oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. All right. So I'm just going to plant that right where we found it. Um, because I think our other tree is growing just fine. There we go. That's really nice. I forgot that they sometimes just wash up. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I know yellow. I'm probably going to do yellow roses around Clyde's house. Um, who else do we have? See, I don't have like pinks yet. Oh, that's a weird place. Is this a gyroid? Or not gyroid. Um, a pitfall. I don't think it is. I'll take it. Because uh, like cookie, you know, obviously that would be something uh, pink would go well for her. Um, gosh darn it. <laughs> I just put it away. Uh, Kurt. Kurt, you could get away with like blacks or, or whites. Because again, he's very gray. 
uh, moose. I'd be inclined to go purple or blue, and again, it's gonna be a while before we get our hands on those. But we can fill in with like base colors and and work our way up. Wow, we're getting a lot of uh. Oh, that's a pitfall. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're getting a lot of fossils right away. Did I have something grow here? No? Okay. Uh, and the benefit as well to making our villagers have little gardens is it kind of tidies up a lot of the random flowers so I don't have to run around uh, remembering where they all are and watering them. Oh, you wanted a fossil? Right, she wanted a specific fossil. Yeah, see, look at that. How I have not found one. I've been donating my fossils every day. Have not found one. That one was just not meant to be. Although I do feel guilty not finishing their request, but the requests are hard in this game. <laughs> they ask for a lot. Is that all of our fossils already? Wow. Thanks. All right, and we found the pitfall, so I shouldn't have anything else to dig up today. No. Yes, there we go. Uh, and maybe these could look pretty around the museum, I'm thinking, because I also want to do stuff around there. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to go with like a red and white theme for around the uh, entrance, because I've done that before. I am Canadian. I do like to rep that. Um, we'll see. Ooh, hello, Crystal. Oh, Crystal, I want to ask you something. How often do you, like, clean your house? Uh, not every day, but pretty often. Like, mini cleaning spurts? Yeah, I pick up stuff a lot. Uh, you know, gotta keep things neat. But I end up with things, or with this, like, constant closet packing battle where I just stuff it tighter and tighter. And then it all comes crashing down in one desperate attempt at freedom or whatever. Don't keep saving stuff you know you should throw away. That way lies madness. I feel so called out. Don't do that. Don't judge me. <laughs> I like to have my stuff. Uh, Alright, so those ones are going to be kept separate, but we got these ones up here that have just been kind of hanging out for a while now. Okay, I think this is good. So I probably won't do all of this on camera, or if I do, you know, I'll do it over time. I won't just, you know, not that I'm making you do anything, but I won't make you sit there and uh, and watch that. Uh, next special, just in, we received a rare piece. Oh. No, we don't want that. Also, the tournament result cookie is the MVP of the fishing tourney, taking home uh, top prize with a phenomenal 63-inch tuna. I'm so ticked off about that tuna. I'm still- I gotta practice catching those, because that was difficult. That was really difficult. Uh, I never go in here on camera. I should probably do that. Oh, you got like a cute little kiwi shirt. That's cute. Hi! Um, Crystal, is it? Hey, what gives, sis? You almost never call a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Please feel free to take a look around, don't mind us. Oh, she's warming up to us. It's happening. How are you doing, Clyde, by the way? I did Wait, no. I said hi to you. You almost got two hellos. I remember you were trying to break into my house. That's quite the way to remember someone. <laughs> okay, get rid of those. And Aurora is right here. So the only downside about this is that I'm gonna have to remember to water behind Aurora's house, which I'm not entirely thrilled by. I guess I don't have to put them behind her house though, right? I could just put them along the sides in the front. This has just dawned on me as an option. <laughs> In fact, right now she's gonna have three on each side, and I think that's gonna be kind of nice. 
There we go. And then we'll just have them kind of tuck around here and around this side. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Nice, simple. You know, keep it easy. Uh, did I check out Tom Ducks yet? I don't think I did. Okay, where is it? There it is. This is brown, I think. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. Who wanted it again, though? Was it Kurt? No, it wasn't Kurt. Uh, Monty? May have been Monty. Actually, I think I needed red tulips, didn't I? For that one section we were working on. Sorry for the cursor moving all over the place, by the way. Okay, let's go see if this counts as brown. Is it clouding over? We've I've noticed, uh, I remember when I played this game on stream, I felt like there was a lot of like cloud cover and fog. Uh, and I feel like this playthrough has been very bright, but now it's kind of looking a bit more cloudy again. I'm wondering if it's just a seasonal thing. Uh, where did he go off to? <laughs> mm, okay, did he go up here? All right, we've lost the monkey. I repeat, we have lost the monkey. Gosh darn it. I actually found something brown, I think. I hope. I know oh, sometimes with this game, um, if you've ever looked into feng shui in these games, sometimes an item will be listed as red, for example, but it honestly doesn't look all that red. Uh, I have definitely had that before, so. There we go. Not that I've gotten anything from that anyways. Monty, where are you, bud? Where did you run off to? I have a feeling he's on the lower section of town, actually. No. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Monty. It was Samson, wasn't it? Yo, there you are. I have a killer idea. Wouldn't it be rad if we had something we said to each other every time we talked? You know, something we say to each other to crank up the pumpage. Uh, sure. Right? You're so pumped about this, right? Let's think of something that thunders like lightning. Uh... I am not very... Oh, how do you spell the squeak? I think that's how you spell it. I'm not very creative. There we go. Like, a mouse squeak. May not have spelled that right. Oh, and then his catchphrase is Pip Squeak? Wait a minute, I didn't even see that. Oh, I did spell Squeak wrong. Whoopsies. I'm sorry. Alright, take this furniture. What do you think? Cubby hole? Are you serious? It's no six foot tall trophy, but you still hold. You can still hold Manor Wall over your head in victory. Oh, you a huge yeti-sized thing with extra fur. Thank you. What does the manor wall look like? Didn't we get this as an item recently? Or am I misremembering? Yeah, look at how dark it's getting. Wow, I wonder if it's gonna snow. It has definitely gotten darker since I started recording. Also, please don't judge. I know. Just ahead of time, I know. Don't, don't look at it. Don't perceive. God, the music makes it worse. 
Is this is the same wallpaper? Okay, it's not. Uh, I'm... Eh, it's not bad, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. Oh, you know what we should do, actually? I gotta go back in there. Um, because I remember there was the whole thing. Oh, it's three o'clock. <laughs> um, with... Rooster and the gyroids, and I still don't know exactly how to trigger it. I might need to get a certain amount of coffee from him, from what I vaguely recall. Um, but I'm gonna hold this just in case. Is it gonna start snowing? Uh, not yet. I didn't remember that this game had um, weather changing midday, but it definitely did. Alright, let's first go down, get our coffee. Still haven't found anyone in here. I know that they can pop up. Got for a cup of java, it's 200 bells. What's your blend? Uh, surprise me. Got it. There you go, house blend brewed with natural spring water. There you go, fresh brewed even. Drink it while it's hot, thank you. Strong and full-bodied? It's like I'm in some crazy dream. Thank you. Okay. Will you say anything to me? No, not yet. Alright. It's okay. He's talking a bit more than he was at the beginning, so I think we're slowly getting him to open up. I wonder if we have any new fossils today. Let's check. Okay, so knowing me, I just skipped ahead all that um, as of editing, I hope. That or I sat there in silence for like two minutes. Uh, none of that was new, and even better yet, we got an iguanodon tail, an iguanodon skull, and a dinawag. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, Good news is that we can get some money from that. I was thinking we haven't headed to the city for a while. Um, I kind of want to see what's going on there. I think we can maybe get another joke uh, and our fortune read, I'm assuming, because it's technically next week. Um, if not, it's fine. And we can see if there's anything we want to buy there, because last time we didn't really have a heck of a lot of money on us. Right, yeah, I'm not buying that doll for love nor money. Nope, nope, nope. I remember Ica Village. Uh, I will keep that. Get rid of the manor wall. Yeah, there's a decent chunk of change. Alrighty, to the city! I really feel kind of like, hmm, I'm trying to decide how to word this. <laughs> I like the idea of the city, but I like the way New Leaf handled it so much better. I like that it's not, you know, taking a bus, which is kind of cool. But if you want to go, it's almost like you got to plan ahead of time, which I guess is the point. You know, this is just a personal preference. Um, I like that you can just run up to Main Street, run back down, you know, none of this. <laughs> um, this maybe makes it feel like more of an event, but I'd rather just casually go over. Oh, you pawn skimmer. Tell me, do your parents know you'd be city bound? I suppose you can do as you like, but parents be easy these days. The old dad never let me off the ship unless it were to buy a new bilge pump. But times change, they surely do. And here be the city. Be careful out there, will ya? Don't you be staying out late with the hippin' and the hoppin', you party fish. <laughs> No, oh, sir, my bedtime is like 9 o'clock. I'm a grandma. I'm tired. I don't want to stay up late. Oh, 
Ooh, got some interesting villagers today. And it's snowing. So we get some really pretty music. Uh, let's go see if I can't get my fortune read first. I'm not gonna lie, that initial note of the song scared me. <laughs> Alright, tell me my fortune. Alright, what are you gonna drop on me this time? Oh, it was some sort of metal tin. Ah uh, yes, I'm starting to see it. The universe glows golden in the brilliance of Mercury, reborn as a first magnitude star. Mercury's splendor is spread as wealth and freedom. Yes, wealth free for the taking. The freedom, however, depends solely on the heart of the soul who accepts it. In essence, the stars around you give off an aura of gold. This aura glows fiercely around you. I foresee an improvement in your monetary fortunes. I hope so. However, that doesn't mean you should go about or should go about doing whatever you want with your money. Throwing around your money without care seems foolish, but the choice is yours, of course. That is all. Yes, now I require a hundred bells. There you go. Thank you, Katrina. Well, I'm glad that we're having a good money week. That's nice. All right, what else do we got here? <gasps> Blue bear. <gasps> Pearl. Oh God, Rosie would not be happy. Welcome to the Marquee! If you'd like to see the show, tickets are 800 bells each. Sounds good. What show would you like to see? Oh, cool! Uh, laughter. Let's do laughter. So the show you'd like to see is laughter. Okay, that'll be 800 bells. Thank you. The show will begin in a few moments. Please make your way into the theater. I didn't know it would give me the option. I like that. Kiko is in here. Uh, I want to say Tybalt, but I'm not sure. Thank you for your patience, everyone. The Marquis is pleased to welcome Dr. Shrunk, starring in the feature presentation, Laughter. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. Um, ahem. Have I ever got a serious case of giggles today? Well, I know why. I got a standing ovation last night, but then I woke up and realized I've been dreaming. The doctor is out. Sorry, I mashed through that. We hope you enjoyed the show today. And we hope to see you again in the future. Oh, it's Rolf! My bad. I, uh, didn't get it. Is there something there to get? Normally, there's nothing worth laughing at in this comedy routine. But when all his jokes fell flat, the look on his face just cracked me up. Oh. Poor Shrunk. Oh, it's interesting. I don't think we ever see who's in the MC booth. It's kind of an interesting idea. Or the ticket person. Whatever you want to call him. Right. Willow, Maple. Oh! <gasps> Hi, babies! Oh, wait, we got a lot of cuties today. What is this? I say today, but right now. Welcome to Gracie Grace, where we specialize in wearable art. Beauty. Right, so I wasn't so interested in the princess set, I don't think. Uh, I actually am not too interested in any of this. I think I might want the Gracie set in the future, but for now, I'm good. We can spend our money better elsewhere. <laughs> oh, hey, bud. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Out of curiosity, by the way, I know there's the bank machine over here. Oh yeah, I can pay my mortgage here. That's nice. I'm actually going to deposit, I think, though. Um, 
pretty much whenever I hit 20k, I've either been putting it into here or putting it into our home loan. Just so I don't spend it. <laughs> that being said, I think this is where we're wrapping up for today. Uh, I think I will continue to do the little flower arrangements around villager houses, but maybe what I'll do is I won't push myself to do ones that I don't think we have the flowers for yet. We'll just do the ones that I think we're ready to do. Um, thank you all so, so very much as per usual for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a comment or a like down below. It does mean the world to me. And uh, hopefully I will see you all in the next one.